Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. This is DSDS Allen here and today's video will be talking about the things you need to put into consideration before you start thinking of moving into your own space or before living alone. And I would center this on apartment, finding the right apartment, apartment haunting. I've changed apartment twice now since moving into this place and there are some things that I learned. <laughs> <laughs> Before I get into it here, yeah, if you're new to my channel, please make sure this visit is not your last. Subscribe, okay? Put on your post notification bell. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for sticking it out with me. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first thing is to research about the area you want to move into. And by research, I mean ask questions from people that know that area very well, okay? It's best to even ask from the person that has lived in the apartment so that you know the living conditions of the apartment that is a major mistake i made for my former apartment i paid for the apartment before i started finding out from people that are no people that have lived in the apartment and i say hearing about flooding when it's raining about the walls i think if you've seen my old videos you will see those like water stains on the walls even with the tiles beside the house was swampy and i lived close to a school weekends oh my god it was like I was hearing the kids in my apartment shouting and chanting their lessons. If I had made my research well, if I wasn't rushing into just getting any first available apartment that seemed okay, I would have made a better choice. So yeah, ask about the security condition of the environment. I made a video, a whole video about tips for living alone. So you should check it out to see all I said about security, okay? Moving on to agents. First things first, agents taught me never to trust agents. My former apartment taught me lots of lessons you guys the agent was not the main person that the landlord gave the key to so they had like an association of agents if maybe someone reaches out to an agent that he wants an apartment then this person would go and get key from the main agent that the landlord had given the key to and then show the apartment so the problem with that was i ended up paying way more than i should have paid in both agent fee and rent this man flipping lied to me and we dragged before I got my receipt, but I did not get the receipt from the landlord. I got it from the agent. When I found out the actual rent, I was so pissed. But by then, to get the money back, they were just doing back and forth between the main agent and the second agent that I met and the landlord. It was just a whole lot of misunderstanding, lies and all of that. So I just let the money go. But that's money that I could have used to do something cool with my life ensure that you try different agents although if it's within the same area the truth is most of them are in the same association so they are like beds of the same feather so try different agents and different locations so you have more options to choose from let's talk about landlord listen however a person is to you before you get an apartment they are going to be like that okay don't think it's something you can manage this brings me back to my research aspect if i had made better research i would have found out the kind of person that landlord was it was later after i had paid for the apartment i said earning stuff ah this man is always ending things badly with his tenants they're always ending up in court or one or police station and i'm like why are you always taking people to courts packing people's stuff out i'm like nah the common denominator is you the landlord i've heard about stories where some landlords are very diabolical like they can take things to a diabolical level avoid houses where the landlord is living around let's say the landlord is staying in one part of the building or one building within a compound it's very very rare to see a case where you won't have clashes with the landlord or the landlord's family he would want his house to be a certain way he would want you to live a certain way not have people over and stuff like that and you might not be that kind of person you might want the house to be a certain way and then the clash starts but if everybody is living away from each other all these clashes will be avoided Another thing you should pay, I think this is the most important thing you should pay attention to before you move into an apartment. If you go for a house showing and your gut feeling is telling you bad stuff about the place, run. I'm always an advocate for listening to your instinct, okay? If your instinct tells you that this place is not for you, run. 
And I would also use the example of my last apartment before where I moved into. Even before I found out all the things I found out about the apartment, deep down I was not cool with it, but I just went with it and I could not wait to leave that place. The ventilation was terrible. I almost passed out one night because of heat. The lights started getting bad. My stuff were getting burnt left and right. What? If I had listened to my gods, I am pretty sure I would have not stayed in that apartment. So when I was looking for my next apartment, I took my time, like I said, looking for it early enough. And I took my time to ensure that every box checked. If I had a bad feeling about a place, I would move on to the next place. However, you try to be careful or try to be picky when it comes to choosing an apartment. Just know that no single apartment will have everything you need. If it has 90%, 10% might not be it. If it has good security in the area the plumbing might be an issue and you have to fix it or if they always have constant electricity there is water the paint might look terrible the kitchen counters might be bad you have to fix it just have it at the back of your mind that you have to fix something you must just fix something when you move into an apartment that is leased out or like a rented apartment so decorate it as you want fix it up and explore <laughs> And that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you learned a thing or two when it comes to living alone. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.